Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Giselle and I just wanted to quickly talk about my uh, new website. Um, I am choosing to hold my phone this time instead of putting it up the stand and see if I feel a little more comfortable with that. Um, I find that when I stare right at my camera, uh, um, when it's like set up, I get a little like weirded out. <laughs> I can't be myself. So I'm just going to hold it and kind of go with the flow. Um, it is a little bit close up, but that's totally fine. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about my website, kind of go through my thought process, um, what I went through, the platform that I used, um, everything like that. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. Okay. Okay, so first I want to talk about the platform that I used. I did use Wix. Um, I was in between that and Shopify, but with Shopify, it's a little less personal and more so a platform of where you just kind of post your products. Um, but I wanted it to be more personal I wanted to add you know more descriptions um, about my art and all of that good stuff and have a portfolio and even a blog so I decided to go with Wix um, Wix is free um, for like the most basic thing but I wanted it to be like more profesh and I wanted uh, to have my own domain because if you see here it is artbygiselli.com if I wouldn't have purchased the package that I did it would be artbygiselli uh at wix.com i believe or something like that um the domain cost me about two hundred dollars uh but that's for two years so i you know i just paid it all at one go so that's about what less than ten dollars a month um so whatever and then the rest of it cost me about i don't even remember it was like four hundred dollars i honestly don't remember but it was a package that included um, way more services it allowed me to add like a payment processor and all of that so for me it was just more so considered an investment um, i'm very grateful that i was able to afford that because this is something that i know that it was necessary for me to do so i'm incredibly grateful that i was able to do so um so yeah so this is the front page just kind of like a introductory view of who i am as a person and an artist just a quick little summary i totally wrote that myself i wrote everything here i did like literally everything um and it did take me a long time more so just because of like being um nervous about it it's just something that i've been really um passionate about for a long time so i was just kind of like going through the motions of like what if it's not good enough or it, it was also just like a lot more than I realized I could take on uh you know dealing with SEOs and creating a logo and creating a favicon and things that I've never heard of before so there was definitely a lot of research that went with it too um but here we are now and I'm so 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 proud of it okay so let's continue this is my home page just a quick bio I'm thinking of adding a YouTube section somewhere in here just because on my instagram i can't have two links and i do want to continue um posting videos on youtube and i want both to be accessible so that's kind of like my loophole <laughs> so now let's go into my portfolio this was really hard oh my god i didn't realize how crazy my art was like how many different ideas and things i have so it was hard to kind of figure out the collections that I wanted to do and what, um, you know, what would look cohesive, even just picking like the color story and my logo and what kind of branding colors I wanted to go with. That was, a, that was huge. Like that, I really like scratched so many ideas. Um, you know, at one point it was like universe themed and then at one point it was all just black and it just wasn't working for me um at the same time i was remodeling my room nothing crazy just kind of um making it more homey since i am working from home so i wanted it to look nicer so i did add like pink and green monsteras everywhere so that's why i decided to just make my logo the monstera leaf just makes things a little bit easier um and it all just kind of goes hand in hand i do love monstera leaves so much like literally obsessed that's why i have a whole collection just dedicated to them um yeah so now I'm going to click my custom creations. Oh, and I did want to mention that this is a portfolio. It is not a shop gallery. So there will definitely be things here that you can't buy. Um, and I'm really sorry about that. It's just a matter of uh, the DPI and like pixels and stuff. A lot of my work, especially the earlier stuff, is really tiny. Um, I live in a smaller apartment, so I don't have the luxury of creating large pieces. And those are way easier to photograph and edit. Um, but that's okay 
Um, and now that I'm doing digital work, I could definitely preset that before and that should be able to help me um, be able to do prints and whatnot. So I'm gonna start with my custom creation folder. And this is a place where all of the commissions I've done go. Um, I haven't put all of them, all of them, mostly because I don't have good enough pictures. Um, sometimes I just take like a really fast pick and then I come back and I regret it. And I'm like, wow, that's like a really bad angle. So I can't really post it. Um, some of them I just completely don't even know what they are, where they are. I'm so sorry if you don't see yours here. If you do um, want me to post yours, let me know and I'll find a way. Or you can send me a picture of it and I'd be happy to post it. These are just a couple of the ones that I've done. This one was one of my first ones. It was super cool because it was for a guy and I was a little nervous that it was going to be like too girly but he ended up really loving it and I love that I was able to add my own colors in there because the reference and like kind of the direction he gave me was just literally the Oakland Cranes <laughs> so I'm, I'm really happy for that one that one was kind of one that I was like you know what I can do this um people want to see my style so it was it was great and then Jasper so yeah these are just a couple of the ones I have I will be adding more um back to my collection Festival Fever is one of my favorite collections, and this is one that I hope to work on a little bit more um, in my downtime. I love festivals. I miss them so much. I really would love to go to one right now, but um, the Rona won't let me. So that's fine. Um, this is um, on my website for sale. I love this one. This is just kind of like a homage to the techno scene. I love techno. I love house. I just love the club. I love meeting people. I just love it all. Um, this one is really important to me because it was one of those pieces that I had um, in one of my college classes and I was very um, discouraged because there was not much room for creativity. It was just kind of like learning what different styles were. Um, but with this one, it was pop art. So we were able to use whatever color story we wanted. And this one um, is one that made me feel like I was on the right path, like that I could do this because... Um, it was I was able to express myself with colors that I liked and stuff and I really like that because for some reason I felt like to be good you only had to use or you could only use you know like realism and nature and stuff like that and I wasn't really interested in that so this was a really great um, launch for me this one yeah so these are just a couple of the images in there and then we can go back to my collections um dream girls and then the potato people and dreamscapes and monstera madness um these are all again just kind of compilations of my creations the more i create the more galleries it will be hopefully this one is my potato people i definitely have more potatoes that i've drawn i've been drawing potatoes for about two years um just for fun honestly but then people literally started requesting them like paying me to draw a certain version of potatoes which is hilarious um i really love that because i enjoy drawing them they're really fun um so hopefully maybe i might add them even though not all of them are this nice like these are all made on gouache and meant to look nice i have other ones that are made with you know color pencil and markers and stuff so um i'll see if i can find some of those and i'm not gonna go through all these collections you can see them yourself um now we're gonna go into my shop. So something that I wanna mention that I don't know it's, if it's um, obvious or if it's just not, uh, you know, if it's something concerning about um, how that works, I do use a third party um, site that creates everything for me to order. So like if you were to buy this right here, they're going to find, they're gonna see that order and they're going to make it and then they're going to be the ones that are shipping it for you so i do use a third party i don't do any fulfillment at all the only fulfillment i would do would be for like these original ones which are like large canvases that i actually have in my house um those i would actually do myself but anything that's here that's a print um will not be done by me um so yeah feel free to get one they are gorgeous like the quality is amazing i bought a couple samples because i wanted to make sure that the quality was going to be good enough and it definitely is it's on matte paper um and it's really 
it's just nice. It's thick. It's very vibrant. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is that I can't personalize the packaging. Like I can't add like a thank you card or make the packaging pink because I would love to make the packaging pink. Um, but it's just a matter of time. I do have a full-time job right now. So I work eight hours a day, every day for five days a week. So it's a lot, you know, it, I've done, uh, individual prints myself and package them and ship them myself. And it's just not feasible with my uh, time frame that I have, especially because I have a lot of projects going on right now, you know, between my YouTube channel, um, this website that I'm working on, even just creating content in general. So this is great for me. Um, they do take a cut, but I did the math and it comes about to about the same amount of profit I would be making if um, I was doing it myself. So it's totally fine. Like, I don't mind that. Um, but that's why I have to do free shipping on orders over 30 instead of just free shipping on all of them because the cut would also include the cost of shipping and the cost of shipping for this is a flat rate of like a $5.99 or $4.99 and I'm charging $3.99 for that. So I still take a little bit of a cut. Um, so yeah, that's why it's free shipping on orders over 30 And yeah, I do hope to grow this gallery. I might, you know, get rid of some of these like the fall ones they'll probably get removed off my website eventually just to make more room for uh more products i love these i just love monstera leaves they're just so beautiful i don't know they're just amazing what a gorgeous leaf and now we're going into the blog so i'll be really honest i don't love writing and especially writing about myself is really weird um but i'm going to do my best to make sure that i can keep these up i might do maybe once every other week if that or two weeks just to start or every week just to start because i don't know i just overthink everything and i hate grammar i hate all of that it's not fun for me yeah but I, I, for me, I do want to talk more about, you know, kind of like the things that I think about. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know. I might add like a comment section because I do love um, exploring and, you know, thinking of outside of the box and just kind of letting my mind run wild. So I would love to know if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, you know, like um, energy and the way we look at colors and everything like that like I really find all of that interesting um this is my first blog post just kind of like an introduction and then the other one is the first of my about the art um blog section and this is Couchella so see here like I just kind of talk about why I painted this what it means to me like right now, I'm especially nostalgic about uh, festivals. Like I really, 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 really miss festivals. Um, that's one thing that I I, I really want to do that right now. But I, I'm a very, very strong daydreamer. So I'll just stay in my head and, and dance in there, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's my blog. I'm very excited. If you, get, you guys can subscribe and get an email to uh, to know when I leave a blog post and down here I did connect my links so I have my Instagram here I just started um, digital art with my iPad so I'm loving that so much I might add a digital uh, art gallery in my website maybe I'm considering doing commissions digitally I just kind of have to figure out the pricing for that because as simple as you know these kind of look like this one and this one these are traced and you know stuff like that it's not incredibly I guess difficult to do but it did take a long time like this one took me both of these took about three hours each to do so it's kind of a long time um and if I did do digital art it would have to be a digital product so you would have to go and print it that makes sense but yeah don't forget to go to my giveaway it ends on October 30th you just have to share the picture and follow me on my art Instagram that's me okay I also have my YouTube and my Twitter down here I'll admit I'm not as active on Twitter but I do have it for sharing purposes it's easier to um, get other people to see my art 
on there and YouTube is just a place where I do tutorials and time lapses of my art. My tutorials are not a lot right now just because they do take a lot of time and again I was working on this website so I had to focus on that but now I can focus on my YouTube channel. And these are my frequently asked questions. Um, I just kind of made these up randomly. So if you have any more suggestions of what I could add, I definitely appreciate it. Um, yeah. So this is my website. If you come to the shop, you can see like add it and it'll tell you all the details and all of that good stuff. Again, it's made on really good quality paper uh, and the vibrancy stays about the same. Love it. And then if you click the logo, it'll take you back to the home page. I just love my little logo. It's so cute. I made that on Procreate using my iPad. So I just made it on Sterileaf, added my G, and then I even made a little favicon too. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to explain to you, you know, or kind of just show you my website and what I did with it. Um, I'm really excited about it. I have always wanted to have a website. I just didn't really know how to go about it, and it definitely was a lot, but I'm happy with it um it's just a place where i can lead people to you know a lot of people ask me oh can i buy this in the print or are you selling this or do you have a portfolio and i didn't and i just felt like that was the missing link for um my career you know based on sales and based on getting known and just looking more professional um i think that this is definitely a huge step um and i'm incredibly grateful I can't believe that I'm finally doing this. Uh, it took me some time, but uh, we're here now. And then I'm just excited to see what the future holds for me. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a gorgeous day. Bye.